Good morning. It's November 22nd, 2017. Daily vlog number three. Dum dum dum. Things I learned. I repeat myself a lot. I say I'm a lot. I play with my hair too much. I have no content. So I made notes. Today's mom's birthday. She's 81 years old. And so shout out to Kay Wads. She um, is a fighter. She is my everything. She is what I'm grateful for most out of anything in the world. First, because here comes the sun. First, because she gave birth to me. Second, because she has saved my life several times. And by that, I mean literally and figuratively, meaning taking me back in and just loves me unconditionally. And, uh, yeah. So, I'd like to say I can blame my mom for all the terrible things I am and do and blah, 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 blah. but I can't. I can't blame her. You know why? Because she's awesome. <laughs> so, she, I can't. Can't blame her. I can only love her. And I can only do what I can do for her. So, I gave her money for her birthday because she can do whatever she wants with it. And, um, yeah. Tomorrow's Thanksgiving. So I've been kind of saying what I'm thankful for. Again, I'm thankful for many things. My mom being number one. Number two, my job. Yesterday, great day at work. Um, I got a lot of work done for 19.2 Enterprises, um, which is the startup um, construction company, but he's been in construction for 20 years, so he knows what he's doing, or t probably more than 20 years, but he knows what he's doing, and uh, just lacks the computer side of things and the time to do the computer side of things. Ooh, I'm almost like blocking the sun with my phone. <laughs> the sun. So, Thanksgiving's tomorrow. I'm bringing home a turkey tonight and I will make everything. My mom doesn't have to do shit. Sure, there's just Christmas stuff everywhere and we don't have the money to go out and eat and so I'm not doing it. And uh, I'm at the pharmacy. So I must go in. But I will be back. Good morning. Okay, so I'm done at the pharmacy which we all know isn't the pharmacy. It's the methadone clinic because of my extreme pain from um, recurring urinary tract infections and kidney infections and giant huge cysts on my ovary. So anyway, moving on. The sun's going to be in my face, and it's just the time of day, and I can't stand it. So I don't even know if this is going to work, because I hate the sun being in my face for this whole video. It's, like, so stupid. Um, moving on. So today's a new day. Mom's birthday. Talking points. Let me look at my notes real quick while I'm at this stoplight. So, talk components today, we got... Well, I'm going to start doing Brandon's word of the day because he comes up with some crazy shit. Today was... Cockwasher. If anyone could let me know what a cockwasher is, please comment below. I have my ideas. Brandon? 
don't use that. Um, me and Brandon also went over a lot of information last night and had a really good conversation. And I've almost come to the conclusion that if me and Brandon's relationship was like, you've got mail, you know, where we only email each other for a while, that would be great. So, um, we got a lot of stuff out in the open and out, out there yesterday and, uh, making moves. He and I, partners in crime, scorpions, <laughs> hence the name. He did start this YouTube channel with me and this journey with me. Actually, he started it back in March of this year um, when I was dumped to the side of the road and forced to move back to Greenville from Columbia and he needed a place to start over so he came down here we haven't been able to make him stay in South Carolina for a number of reasons, which I'm not getting into because it's stupid and it's the past, but we're finding ways to get him back permanently when he's ready and I'm ready. So, the last two times we did it on his terms, on his time. This time I'm doing it on my time, my terms because I'm the one here. So, sorry, Brian. Anyway, so, cock washer. Let me know what that means. Um, net neutrality? What have you? I don't give what the F you call it. If fucking Charter Spectrum, who I just switched to from Uverse, who, which was probably a mistake because I'm paying a lot more money now than I was. So I'm like, eh, not feeling it, but net neutrality, like, like, you're going to tell me what I can watch? Or view on the internet? Are we in fucking Pakistan? Is this fucking China? What in the fuck is going on? And you know, honestly, I don't even know. I know in Pakistan that they they can block what you see and what you view on on the interweb. And I'll and I'll tell you what. If I want to Google my Yahoo, I'm going to do it whenever the fuck I want to. And I'm going to do it with whichever service or carrier allows me to do whatever the fuck I want to do. This is America. I don't know if we invented the internet. I, I, I thought Al Gore did. I don't know. But I do know one thing's for sure. This is a free fucking country. We are not China. We don't need people to tell us what the fuck we can watch. Now, I'm a big advocate of streaming services. I think as long as you pay for them, I think that they're great. I love Hulu. I love Netflix. I'm not fond of cable. I've had it now for a little while and I don't watch it. <laughs> I still don't watch it. But... I do watch a lot of news with my mom. She watches a lot of Fox News. I'm not a big fan of the, um, the talent they have on Fox News, but um, it is what it is. That's what she watches. It's her house. That's what she likes. She's my mom, but she gets what she wants. So. On that note, I'm going to try to put you back up here. 
because it's really, really annoying. It's really annoying. This whole thing is so annoying. Not the vlog. This contraption I have. So, net neutrality, from what it looks like to me, it looks like there's a bill being passed, what, December 14th or 15th or something like that, that is going to allow our internet providers and phones to tell us what we can watch online, on the interweb, the internet, the www.net. And I'm fucking pissed. And I am going to write. And I'm going to post. And I'm going to go a little crazy about it. Probably till December. I don't like it. Um, our, our privacy is violated enough. You can already see what we're watching. Why do you need to control if we can watch it or not? Why is there such a desire for other people to control other people? Why? Relationships. Okay? Um, not just relationships. Everything. But relationships. Work. Work to the extent of you do one thing and your manager micromanages so bad that they turn around and redo the work. That's a waste of fucking money. All you're doing is wasting money. Stop all the control, people. Say the serenity fucking prayer, Congress. Goddamn GOP. You know what? It just aggravates me because first, it is the non-voting fucking millennials that are allowing the fucking baby boomers who are crazy conservative wackos to tell us what the fuck we can watch on the internet. And if half of the conservative wackos that voted these fucking idiot congressmen and senators in and don't even know that they're doing it, they just push the ticket and know nothing about them, I'm, I hope you voted for a fucking molester or a fucking uh, disgusting pervert. I hope that makes you happy. Oh, wait, you did. The president of the United States. Anyway... Don't get me going. So, I'm not upset with Don, you know, but like, this, this shouldn't even be on anybody's mind. What about the homeless? What about people shooting other fucking people? What about um, the fact that you have, I'm a commie. The fact that you have fucking bajillionaires and you have other people living on the fucking streets in the cold because they served in our country, military, our country's military, came home with a mental illness from the bullshit that they saw. I'm not talking about Afghanistan, Iraq. I'm talking way back into fucking World War II if some of those people are still alive. I think there are a lot of them still alive, actually. Um, <laughs> but Vietnam. I was willfully homeless for a winter. And I was talking to um, actually one of the directors at the homeless shelter that I stayed in um, this morning. And I remember that the year that I was willfully homeless, there is a um, I almost said no kill shelter. 
<laughs> Obviously, they don't kill homeless people. Um, there is the No Freeze Shelter in Willamette, Connecticut. It's where I'm from. And it was a lifesaver for me and my fiance at the time because that's where we lived. Why I say I was willfully homeless was because it was easier for me to get drugs if I was directly on the street in Willimantic in the morning versus living with people in Rhode Island or living with my mom in a town far away. So I willfully was homeless. I willfully slept on foam mattresses in a little like I, I don't even know I think it was a daycare <laughs> I don't even know what building it was um, but I met a lot of vets a lot of vets and all of them had mental illness and that was the reason they were homeless it was not drugs it was not alcohol it was not why I was homeless it was because they came home and shit hit the fan and they couldn't handle it their families couldn't handle it and it sucks and our country is loaded with it loaded and we are fucking worried about what rich people are fucking watching on the internet who cares? Who cares? It's just another way for the man, corporate America, to make more money. Because you can still watch the shit. You can still watch the shit. You just, you're going to have to pay $20 more a month for that subscription to the internet. Are you kidding me? You can't take away something that we've had like that. If anything, we should be giving more to society, not taking away. For instance, marijuana becoming le med medically legal in most states. South Carolina will probably be the last one. Whatever, I won't live here then. But... Either way, bringing things into society, positive things into society, taking things away from society, like information. Let me tell baby boomers and old farts a couple things. First, you're required to have a laptop in high school now. The school provides it. And you have to bring it back at the end of your four years of high school. This was a roommate that I had. I remember she, she had to go through that. So, you're required to have a computer to even be in high school. And you're required to return that computer at the end of high school. Because it's not yours. But by then, it's worthless. Because, you know, every year you got to get something new or... It, it's not up to date. So as it is, we're paying so much money for cell phones, upgrades on our cell phone service. Cable is out of control and stupid. Um, so you're, you're basically, you basically forced computers onto this generation that's, that's graduating high school now. And all the, and who knows what they're doing in elementary school. I don't know because I'm not a mother. But I do know that I am right on the cusp of millennial, 81. So, and, and I'm a little bit younger in some things because I choose to be. So, I consider myself a kind of millennial, but not really. But kind of. So. I. My whole life revolves around my phone. My internet. My whatever. 
you can't take that away from us now. I, I don't know what people did before Google and before Wikipedia and before the internet. I don't know how, how did people know things? I'd be dumb. I would be stupid if I didn't have the internet and if I wasn't trained on computers. So don't let your country take away your rights to have internet. You already pay for Wi-Fi. You don't need to pay more money to view certain websites. That's fucking bullshit. And what it boils down to is streaming sites. It's it's the cable companies because most cable companies are your internet providers now it's not phone companies anymore it is it's both it's all of it it's all combined but that's what it is they want they don't want you streaming Netflix they don't want you streaming Hulu and Sling and Amazon and talking to Alexa and everything else they don't want that they want you to, you know, whatever. Pay more money so that you can watch those things that you already pay for. Um, so I would highly suggest, now that that rant's over, I would highly suggest um, writing your congressmen, writing your senators, writing whoever the hell it is you need to write, look it up. All you gotta do is Google, see? Google internet neutrality, net neutrality, and you will see, um, first thing that popped up was a New York Times article and then a Washington Post article, and, um, within that, you will find who to contact, who to write to, um, probably where there's protests going on, do something about it, because if you don't, you're gonna be pissed, and I'm gonna tell you what, I'm going to be pissed. We are the ones taking taking this country over. I'm 36. I could run for president right now. I've reached that age. So, not that anybody would ever vote me into be president or any sort of government, but just saying. Do your part. Don't let this country become what it's coming to be. It's gonna suck. And when it does, the people who don't vote don't con contact their congressmen and their senators and don't speak out about it are the ones 